<laughs> Good morning. Tracksuit day, eh? Yeah, it's just oh. to take the chill off uh, in the morning here. I got to take my uh, dad to the dentist at uh, 10 o'clock this morning, so I'll probably be a little late getting the video put up. Oh my God. What, what will we ever do? I know. The, the audience is going to be mad. The, the, there's going to be people in the streets. There's gonna, they're going to cancel culture is going to get us. Mm -hmm. I had uh, 12 views of my filling the experience gap. Uh, oh, really? On uh, YouTube, yeah, it's my my most viewed video is my uh, Noom diet review, which has been up for weeks. That has twenty one. What the Noom diet app? Ah, yes. That has twenty one views. This has twelve views already, which is my next best is ten. So, I think my wife, uh, my wife's inner circle is probably responsible for all those views. <laughs> hey, that's the circle you haven't touched. And I needed the most Exactly. Exactly. What are the captions? Oh, They're, I have to turn them on on my side. Yeah. Right? Yeah, mine are on. Yeah, I don't need those. Yeah. Uh, but I just noticed my uh, my window isn't set up right. Okay. There we go. Time for the, time for the morning. Redeem blow your mind uh, example. All right, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Uh, new tab. And uh, drag it out here. Okay, good people of the world. Yesterday on one of the office hours, I heard about this wonderful little website called copy.ai. Um, present now. Let's see. Okay, so uh, blah, blah, blah. I have my seven day free trial. Oh, there we go. This is something that I was trying to spot. Yeah. So dude, tons of stuff here. Look at this. Uh, product description, Instagram captions, blog ideas, blog interest, value proposition. Now, if you read about what they're saying, they're saying that they're scrubbing the web, looking for things that fall into your description and compiling uh, whatever that you are asking for it to compile out of that information. Um, yesterday I was playing with it and I was blown away the first time I've done it. Uh, then I found that it was picking a copy from some of the websites because there were names mentioned there. Okay. Uh, program names or whatnot. But let's just, uh, let's just pretend, what are we going to do? Uh, uh, value prop, motor generator, brand measure, website copy, landing page, hero text. Subheader text, meta description, in social content creation, sales copy. There. Pain, agitate, solution. Or before, after, break. Product name, sir. Give me one. Um, like one of my products or just anything? Yeah. No, your product. Uh, let's do leadership for teens. Leadership for teens. Uh, describe your product in, um, in, 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 one, in one or two sentences. Uh, online leadership course. For resume building, let's say that. Resume building, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's target it more specific. Who are we targeting? Parents? Uh, your parents of teenagers. Parents of teenagers. Right? Yeah. Create. Ding, 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 ding. Greg is going to fill this. Uh... Oh, there we go. Don't know where to start with resume building. All of their friends are having fun in college, and my son daughter needs to get one step ahead of the competition. Leadership for teens online leadership for school resume building course teaches. Now, dropping all of the F bombs, but yeah. 
pretty fucking amazing. It is pretty amazing. <laughs> you read this. I think this. Teenagers need to build their resumes now while they're at home. But for many reasons, we don't want to start looking for real jobs. That's where our online leadership course comes. It's written. I, I just pressed the button. Yeah. And you know what? This is excellent for. So if you if you have the ability, like I on Thrive Themes, I have the ability to do A/B test on any page. Yeah. There you go. Like you don't have to struggle. And this is this is was this was the pain agitate solution. There's before after bridge feature advantage benefit. Yeah. It's seven day free trial, and then it uh, kicks. If you need to pay, I think it's thirty five dollars a month, but. Well, I suggest you have seven days to figure out your copy. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So there, in the seven days, there's no uh, there's no limit. A hundred um, a hundred searches a day. Okay. Wow. Finding a way of getting teenagers to put down their phones and actually connect with the real world is there anything worse than feeling like your own child is leaving? This? Look at this. <laughs> oh. This is awesome. Yeah. This is this is phenomenal. This is one of the better applications. So let, let me just go. Um, let me just go to their web uh, homepage because, and you can save all of this and you can export it to CSV. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Uh, contact us. Where is it about us? This is good too for like all the um, Google Ads copy everything. Yep. Yep. Um, what was this? Oh, different languages. Oh, I can do this in Russian. Huh. Uh, tutorial. Chrome extension. I wonder what Chrome extension does. Um, I just uh, because I'm already logged in. Oh, yeah. let, me, let me log out. Let me let me just log out for a sec. Profile. Uh, sign out. So I can now pass off as a, introducing the entry writer's block with copy ad, blah, blah, blah. How it works, select, describe the product that results in it. Inspiration for everyone. Digital ad copy. Well, that's mostly the entry ad language tool. I was just looking to see if, um, Something about pricing. I'm looking. Uh, there was there was some uh, somewhere there was a mention of um, what is this because this is supposed to be uh, when I when I first read uh, when I first heard about it it was presented to me as the. AI generated content based on different uh, scrapes of different websites. Like, so analyzing all of the different copy on different websites. Yeah. In other words, this is a copy that you're free to use. It's not like you're infringing on anyone's rights. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm just not, I, I want to find that clause to be absolutely certain that that's the case, but you saw that, right? Yeah, that's awesome. In, what, in less than 30 seconds, you have at least eight versions of how to sell yourself. Yeah, no, that's great. And like, uh, thank you. Thank yeah, you. thank you, Vadim. <laughs> yeah, right on. Right on. <laughs> wow, that's good. That's Your good. course is paying off already. I got. I found. I, I copied. So I have the same results. I think it's ten results that come up. Yeah. I copied nine of them. Copied nine of them because uh, it's perfect for my sales page. Yeah. It's perfect for a webinar. It's perfect for anything. It's just those those are the conversation starters. This, this is kind of like it's it's well done. Yeah. Like, what, what can I say? Yeah, that's I great. saw the look in your eye, and you go you you usually have a good poker face, but even your look, uh, we can rewind back and see. Like, yeah. Oh, I know. Strong. Well. Yeah. Well, it's, it, and it's aligned very well with uh, that whole emotional marketing Correct. piece, right? Correct. Exactly. So that's awesome. So there you go. That's that, that's fantastic. There's also convert.ai, but um, I found the website to be way too fancy. Yeah. Whew. Well, that's cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that. Yeah. 
you'll, uh, you'll, you'll be creating Google accounts just to maintain that seven-day trial, aren't you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think in seven days you can get what you need. Do you have yeah. to give a credit card to get to start your trial or no? No. No, they did everything right. They did everything right. Um, the one thing is I would not recommend you start your seven-day trial unless you're ready to write it. Because even me, so yesterday I just wanted to check it out, but I didn't realize it's like I'm kicking off the timer. Yeah, yeah. I should have read into it. I should have, I should have, but I didn't. So um, just give yourself enough time uh, to play around with this. Yeah. Made any progress on your course? Yeah, I spent probably two and a half hours yesterday watching videos from... Uh, Probably half of that was like old videos, and then and then they late in the day they posted the video from the weekend. So I got caught up, starting to get caught up on that. So, um, and then they've already sent out the invite for this Wednesday's kickoff. Ever we've all been introducing ourselves on the Facebook group. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's underway. I started printing a few things off just as references. Some yeah. Uh, Part of it is like a script, like I was saying yesterday, like the how do you kick off uh, your conversation with somebody, setting yep. up, setting up that you're creating a commercial relationship and so on. And then there's a series of questions I printed them out and pasted them up in front of me here so I can look at them and you know refer to them. So it's uh, I'm gonna I just want to I'm gonna be practicing them mm-hmm. enough so that they become second nature. So yeah, like affirmations. Well, they're not affirmations so much. It's like the whole key at this stage is creating a connection through listening. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is something I'm I I need to improve on because I'm I like being a solver. I like solving people's problems. So I'll listen to you, and then I want to give you a solution. But that's the, you know the part of this program is the is the notion that the solution is already there. They already know what the solution is. You just need to ask them the right questions. Um, so, bef- so, I see how I've been misled in my life. Yeah. So, you know, things like, well, you know, so I'll, I'll read you some of them. It's like, so what would ha- What would you like to have happen? So that's the opening. Like, what would you like to have happen? What What's the outcome you want from this session? Um, if, those are, if, those are great. if I could wave a magic wand and that outcome uh, could be real. What would you see, hear, feel, and know to know that it had happened? Um, how, will, how will you know when you got it? Um, why do you want that? Why is it important to you? For what purpose? Uh, what would happen if you did that? Uh, what will that involve? What needs to happen for that to happen? What would you have to do? What stops you? What's been stopping you until now? What are some of the obstacles you can identify? And so on. So it's uh, those are very those are very good questions. I, I, actually, you would be uh, you would be excellent in therapy. Yeah. A nice calming deep voice. That's right. Yeah. Terrible guitar intro. <laughs> you like the gears of steel? That's it's funny because it's. Uh, I like it because I I feel like it pumps you up a little bit, but uh, yeah, well, it's it's nice. I, oh, I haven't I haven't checked if I if I've been red flagged again yeah. on um, on whatever you call it, YouTube. I liked your uh, your your uh, your description of yesterday's episode. <laughs> what did I say? Greg makes excuses. <laughs> yeah. Hey, clickbait is I'm all about clickbait. Yeah, no, it was good. Greg makes excuses. I got stuck on course creation. Yeah. yeah. I got my EI thing all settled yesterday too, which is good. What does it mean? Well, I just have to submit. I just went through this morning, submitted all my reports and declared all the, whatever I've made for each period, weekly period. So. And you got reinstated? Yeah. Well, I guess I'll, I'll get the balance, the, the difference between what I would normally get minus the little pittance that I've made so far. Uh, interesting. interesting. Yeah. Oh my god. I read the news and I'm always baffled. 
It's been a year, man. It's been a year. Uh, March the 14th, last year, we got sent home. Yeah. For two weeks. We were supposed to be gone for two weeks. Amen. I know. I, I was watching some recap yesterday, and they were showing Dr. Fauci holding up the, the piece of paper. It's like 10 days to stop the spread. <laughs> It's like that's the longest <sighs> longest ten days I've ever been through. Yeah. And yeah. And now I read yeah. I read yesterday Mississauga is looking to break away from Peel because Peel has been lumped in as one region. Yeah. And now Mississauga is looking to go to the next level of freedom from gray to red. Mm -hmm. Because they, I don't know, apparently we have less cases than but it's like 63 cases per 100,000 population. I don't know. It just like all this, I don't know, it, this whole thing. I hope I hope there's a huge retrospective afterwards that just figures out. Retrospectively, a lot of people are going to be hung out to dry and be called uh, um, inhumane monsters and misguided uh, decision-making, bad data. Like all of the excuses are going to be used. Yeah. The way I, talk, I talked about it, I, I try, I try to, I try to get what that percent number is. If you divide the um, active cases, or like it's even worth with deaths. So yeah. If you divide the death by the number of population in Ontario, I, that number is not coming up on my calculator because it's. Like it's too small. Zeros. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah it's, it's too small. I know. It is too small. Yeah. Which is good. I mean, I, I suppose you got to look on the bright side. That it, it wasn't as bad as it was purported yeah, to be, but at the same time, then why such an overreaction? Well, yeah, that's that's that's. I mean, without diving into conspiracy theories, you can't answer that question. But you know what? It it, it, it truly it truly does. I mean, if it was if it was just our province, you could say that our leadership was bananas and. Just, scared out of their pants to lose their jobs yeah. so they did everything that they thought was right in the moment but this is not just us this is across the globe yeah and and the, and the math across the globe works the same way and it's it works in this in this um peculiar way because it's kind of like a self-reinforcing um what's it called self-reinforcing fallacy yeah fallacy uh because um Essentially, we're saying, "Look, we're going to have this lockdown, and then we we are we're, we're going to we're going to win." Uh, pandemic is going to be gone. Yeah. But people stay home. Cases still happen, and they're low. And then we're saying, "Well, it's because you're staying home." Yeah. But the only logical uh, the only logical outcome out of that loop is we have to stay home forever. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no. It's it's like society has to. Society has to fall apart for us to win, yeah. because uh, human beings are social creatures, and we're doing everything again against social interaction. Yeah. Last last year, we taught kids that little kids we taught that they can murder their grandparents. In fact, yeah. They are the only reason why grandparents die. Yeah. Then we taught people that um, a hugging is a hugging or shaking hands is. Uh, is Evil. risky to your death, yeah. <laughs> uh, then, uh, then you, you can't show your face in public. I mean, I understand I understand the rationale that was given behind those measures. Yeah. I, I don't know the if one, it's worth it. The one that I read that was the most interesting, something I'd never <clears throat> had thought about myself, but there was a, something about the action of pointing the, the thermometer at your yes. forehead that, ha that has a... A psychological impact, yeah. yeah, it does, and that normalizes something that should be a very um, uh, appalling gesture towards somebody has now been normalized. I don't know. It was quite an interesting article I read. Anyway, it'll be a uh, I don't know. Interesting to see how this all turns out twenty years from now. I don't think we'll have to wait that long. Yeah. See, the thing is, um, uh, forget everything you know about medicine. Forget anything you know about society. Like all the, uh, I read the article in the Globe and Mail about uh, white collar burnout, uh, and uh, so it's, it's all that. Like, yeah. Put it aside. U.S. just issued 1.9 trillion dollars. 
believe me when I tell you, it's not backed up by anything that they have in the market. It's no, essentially paper. it's printed money. Yeah, <laughs> it's not even money. It's, it's paper. Yeah, because because the value of it at, uh, is is not supported by anything. So that's a disaster we need to have. We're we're not in no better boat. We we our scale is smaller, but then our country is small too. Yeah. So it's either we're going to create a population, or sorry, a couple of generations of uh, incredibly poor people, our kids and our uh, kids' kids, because they'll have to pay it off, or we're going to do we're going to go the route of uh, Russia and Soviet Union, where we're going to devalue our currency. People are going to lose their shit because today you can buy this and tomorrow you can't buy even that. Yeah. Um, but here's the here's the funny story, and I keep telling this to people who are willing to listen. It's for Canadians, Canadians, like yourself, for example. How many generations uh, are you in Canada? Um, well, my my grandparent, my mom's parents were moved, immigrated here, and my dad immigrated here, so not not overly long. Okay, so you're 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 at least a generation. Yeah, yeah. at least a generation. Yeah. For you, this was like, oh my God, what's what what's happening? For me. Having even even though I haven't lived through it long enough, but I've been born in Soviet Union, I cannot help but draw comparisons by what's happening right now. Yeah. So have I seen devaluations when people when my granddad and my grandma lost everything? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Have I seen uh, Have I seen the inability of uh, somebody to do something against the will of the majority? Yeah, absolutely. That's that's fine. Yeah. Have I seen the government supporting all of their employees and dictating? I might like I have things in my house that are so old. In in the Soviet Union, prices used to be stamped on items. Yeah. Like if it's um, let's say it's a wrench, the yeah. price would be stamped in steel on the item. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's because you just it didn't matter. Yeah, the government said it's going to be one ruble fifty kopecks. Yeah. That's exactly how it's how much it's going to be. Yeah. Anyway, um, it's it is what it is. I I know that uh, for example, uh, Natalie's stressing out over this. Uh, a lot of people are stressing out over this. Yeah. It's not that I'm the um, bastion of calm, but I'm definitely. Hold on. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, no problem. Parental controls. No problem. Um, so what's on tap today? Um, I, I, I'm, I want to record a couple of uh, introduction uh, lessons for my course, at least for my first uh, section of the course, I'm rejigged it a bit, uh, and then I need to go back to the schedule. I mean, I'm supposed to be right now uh, recruiting, I think, affiliates and uh, people who would bring in beta testers into the program. I, I just need to reconfirm have one more interview with a person at uh, I think at 10 o'clock uh, and uh, yeah I'm, I'm making so far I'm making good progress good yeah um, I'm gonna send you the deck for the filling the experience gap questions okay and maybe you can pick a time next week for me to interview you on those oh nice absolutely let's do that it's, uh, I like being interviewed yeah it's a 20 minute, usually take, well, for Beth, it took about 25 minutes, so. Okay. Okay. How much am I going to be compensated for this? You get 50% uh, of everything I get. To zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this interview is over. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's cool. Do it. All right. I'll uh, see you day. tomorrow. All right. Bye. Bye.